Hey guys, this is Zeptrocity, and today I'm going to show off my fully adjustable compact enchanting room. Today, this is a new series. This is Zep's Minecraft World. Today, in this guide, I'm going to be showing you some little tips and tricks to make your house that much better. We are somewhere different. Wow. This is a map called Brutality. It's a CTM map by Sir Chipperter. Um, in other, in other news, um, you might hear me a little differently. I got a new microphone. So, yeah. Welcome. This is a brand new series. This is called Zaptropolis. And on the screen now, this is what we'll be going over today. Well, hello, hello everyone. This is Zaptrocity, and welcome to Descent into Darkness 1. Let's look at it. Bum, 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 bum. Ooh, colorful. what that did. Welcome to a pretty special episode of Zap's Minecraft World. Now this is pretty special because we're going to have like a kind of tour around the whole world and see the progress we've made. Hello, hello, and welcome to the Minecraft Redstone Guide. Exactly. Hmm, this looks very strange. It should be because we are playing Minecraft The Ruins of the Minecrackers 2. Hey guys, hey there, hello all, hello everyone, hello guys, hi guys, hello everyone, welcome back everyone, and welcome to my 100 subscriber special. I don't think I'll probably make a lot of specials in the future, but I decided to do a small little thing, it's not really special, but yeah, come on, let's try and get squashed. Oh, squashed by a falling anvil. Alright. What the? What? Okay, this is stupid. Let's just check out YouTube. <gasps> oh my gosh. Ah, oh, this guy. Too amazing. I think I need to subscribe. Wow, we have hit 500 subscribers. You guys are amazing. Look at that, 600 subscribers. So, channel news. Um, wow, guys, we're at 920 subscribers at the time of this recording. So, wow, 1,000 subscribers. That is just pure amazing. 2,000 subscribers. Thank you guys so much once again. Almost up to 3,000 subscribers. That is amazing. We are up to 4,000 subscribers. That is amazing. Six thousand subscribers I know guys I have to say stuff about the subscriber count every episode because you guys are so amazing look at that amazing just imagine a hall filled with 6,000 different people or maybe a swimming pool filled with 6,000 people I know it's just insane alright I'm gonna whoa, 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 whoa. oh my gosh Uh, look at that. Did you see that? Uh, look at that. Look at this. Oh, please be. Please. Yes, cactus. Oh, yes. Yes. Finally. Oh, man. Thank goodness for this. Oh, yes. Okay. Well, this is awkward. Zombies here. Hole here. Enchanted armor. Could you guess what could have happened? Hello, Enderman. Don't want to look at you. Oh, jeez! No! Come on. Oh. Oh. Uh oh. 
Go! Go! Oh no! Why did I not bring a weapon? Okay, now I am... Just die. What's the life for? You don't really- Oh! No! No, no, no! Oh, wow! Oh, jeez. Oh. 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 I'm about to die, and I died. I don't think I. Oh. This here is a adjustable enchanting table that requires no pistons at all. See right there. So we get level 28. So, how it works is you step on the pressure plates, everything closes up, so you can walk to the other side, and everything flows back down nicely. So it's a nice looking aesthetic door. So this here is my uh, automatic industrial smelter. Today, what you see right in front of your eyes is my semi-automatic sugarcane farm version 2. There is one sticky piston, and this will harvest two sugarcane. So that's a lot more resource friendly than some of the other farms, you get a 100% collection rate, so there's 32 sugarcane per layer, so it looks like we've got all 3 stacks of our sugarcane. We are looking at my sheep farm, my stackable sheep farm. So it's not got any redstone, it's just a simple little invention where it's easy to harvest all your wool from sheep and the grass should grow quickly back. Alright, we're going to do it this time. I know we can. Oh, 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 oh. Alright, this time, this time guys, huh, not nuts. This here is my fully automatic chicken farm. An all-in-one fully automatic chicken farm that's only three wide. This button here is a manual cooker. This here is toggled for cooked chicken or uncooked chicken. And this here toggles if you want eggs or you want them hatched into chickens and cook them. Now from here, it's nice because you can easily access the chest and the dispenser and easily fill up the dispenser if you have some extra eggs on you. So as you can see we have no boats installed. What you can do is go and place a boat in. Right here you can't place it anywhere else as you can see except for this very center. There we are. Boat comes in, does nothing and you right click it, you automatically go up and you get sent along your way. This boost can be also adjusted so you can go even further into your ocean. It can also come out this way too, depending on which way you want it to go. As you can see, the boat gets refilled back here. We can also push this button as well for a free boat. Pretty cool. Today I'm bringing you a tutorial on my chicken torture cell. 100 tips and tricks in Minecraft. Oh! No! Oh! That was a trap! Oh! Jeez! What in the... What? What was that eye? Oh my! Oh my! What in the world is... Are you? Oh! oh. I, I see someone. Ooh. It's awesome. He's running. Oh. That's it for today. Hope you guys all enjoyed. Hope you all enjoyed. Hope you guys enjoyed. That's it. I'm out. I'll catch you guys. And I will catch. I'll catch you guys. I'll catch you guys. I'll catch you guys. I will catch you guys. I'll catch you guys next time.